Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready to get 30, ready to get 20, 20, 20, ready to get 20, 20, ready to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promote for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. On today's Smart 7, Labour launch a cautious manifesto. The G7 back Ukraine with billions and lots more. It's Friday 14th of June. It's Blood Donor Day and happy birthday, Alan Carr. The Smart 7. It's news, but not the news. Thursday saw the election campaign spotlight shift away from Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer for the evening as seven other leaders and deputy leaders had another chance to step into the spotlight. ITV hosted a seven-party debate with a similar lineup to last week's BBC debate, which included Labour's Angela Rayner, the Tories' Penny Mordaunt, Nigel Farage, Daisy Cooper and Carla Denya, alongside the SNP and Ply D. Comrie. Even in a seven-person debate, there was another head-to-head clash between Labour's Rayner and the leader of the Commons' Mordaunt. Lib Dem Deputy Leader Daisy Cooper also challenged Penny as she defended the Tories' record on the NHS. We have grown the number of healthcare professionals. And they're leaving. We have, so we, have, one out. we have 70,000 more nurses. You're pouring into uh, a leaky we bucket. Have, uh, we have a dental recovery plan. It's not working. Uh, new providers coming in and uh, also mobile services now. Green Party co-leader Carla Denia had questions for Angela Rayner over Labour's green credentials. Which of your party's U-turns are you most proud of? The ditching of the 28 billion? climate investment plan or one of the others? What I am realistic about is we've got to have a programme for government which is credible that can grow our economy so we can invest in our green prosperity plan. This week has been Manifesto Week and Thursday saw Labour join the party. The title for their manifesto was simply Change but it didn't contain any new major policies or surprises. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer launched the 133-page document in Manchester with his shadow cabinet and says that the aim of his government will be to turn the page on what he called held back potential. We are not going to return to austerity. I ran a public service for five years, the Crown Prosecution Service. I lived through austerity. I'm never going to allow a Labour government to do that to our public services. Never. He was challenged by journalists, including Sky's political editor Beth Rigby, who wanted to know if Labour was being too cautious in a bid to protect the lead they have in the polls. She suggested he was being captain cautious, a charge he swiftly rejected. This is a serious plan, carefully thought through. It's not about rabbits out the hat. It's not about pantomime. We've had that. I'm running as a candidate to be prime minister, not a candidate to run the circus. Five years after his tragic death, the inquest for Harry Dunn finally concluded on Thursday. The coroner made a number of recommendations, including one requiring US diplomatic personnel to have formal driving instruction before being permitted to drive in the UK. She found Harry's death came as the result of a head-on collision with a car travelling on the wrong side of the road. The driver and Sekoulas did not attend the inquest and neither did any representative of the US government. Sekoulas has claimed diplomatic immunity but was given an eight-month suspended sentence in December 2022 for dangerous driving. Harry's family are not happy with the verdict and have called for a public inquiry, as Harry's mother Charlotte told LBC. She's had an opportunity almost five years after she first either was told to leave by the US government or chose to leave to try to redeem herself just a little bit, and she chose to hide. Thursday saw the G7 group of nations meet in Italy and briefly become the G8 as they were joined by Ukrainian President Zelensky. The group of powerful nations had hoped that there would be a breakthrough in the Gaza conflict, but negotiations continue behind the scenes. The G7 nations did express concern over Israel's operations in Rafah, but stopped short of calling for a halt in Israel's operation. On the Ukraine front, though, there was substantial progress as a new deal was agreed that will see $50 billion worth of aid flow to Ukraine, backed by frozen Russian assets. The US and Ukraine also signed a 10-year bilateral security deal, which will see five Patriot missile batteries head to Ukraine as soon as possible. Joe Biden says it's important that a clear message is sent to Vladimir Putin. Two and a half years ago, Putin unleashed a brutal war on Ukraine. It had also been a test for the world. Would we stand for sovereignty, freedom and against tyranny? 
The United States, the G7, and countries around the world have consistently answered the question by saying, yes, we will. We will say it again. Yes, again and again and again. Still to come on today's Smart 7, the Euros kick off in Germany and Julia Louis-Dreyfus has an important appointment right after this. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready to get 30, ready to get 20, 20, 20, ready to get 20, 20, ready to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promote for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. Welcome back. Friday night sees the 2024 Euros kick off as Scotland face host country Germany in the opening game. It's a first overseas tournament for many fans, as while Scotland did qualify for the 2020 Euros, the games were held in Scotland and London and the team didn't progress to the knockout stages. With Steve Clark at the helm, there's more confidence this time and the travelling tartan army are expected to turn up in Germany in numbers. One of the travelling fans is Line of Duty star Martin Compston and he's feeling a bit nervous before kick off. The anticipation is half the fun of it. Like, you don't want it to start because I don't want it to be over. I think I got here quite early uh, and you're seeing the fans coming in. I'm really excited. I think uh, the day before the game is when you really see the influx and the build of that huge anticipation. Julia Louis-Dreyfus has had a stellar career so far from playing Elaine in Seinfeld through her multi-award winning performance in Veep and now host of Apple's podcast of the year, Wiser Than Me. She's probably one of the most successful actresses of all time with 27 awards, including seven Emmys. So it's no surprise when the Pope was putting together a guest list of comedians and performers that she was on the list. Julia says she has no idea what the meeting is about, though. I have no idea what this is going to be like. And if you know, tell me. Because, um, uh, I don't, I, but, you know, the Pope wants to meet. I'm like, sure. Let, let's, see, let's see what this is going to be about. If you have a dragon allergy or simply like your historical dramas a bit more, well, history-based, then there's good news for you. Instead of binging on House of the Dragon, you could get up to speed on the Netflix leather and thunder show Vikings. The third and final season of Vikings Valhalla sees the arrival of Eric the Red and it promises plenty of blood-soaked action. It lands on Netflix on July 11th. It's only a matter of time before I discover your secret. We are surrounded by Christians. Their god commands them to destroy us. Today, we burn the pagan age. Hear me now. I'll redden these walls with blood. You've been listening to The Smart 7. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hit that follow button and have a great day. Give us seven minutes and we'll give you the world. Whether you're a morning person or a bedtime procrastinator, everyone deserves a mattress that works for their style. And you'll find the best mattress for you at Ashley. The new Temper Adapt Collection at Ashley brings you one-of-a-kind body-conforming technology, making every sleep tailored to be your best. The collection also features cool-to-the-touch covers and motion absorption to help minimize sleep disruptions from partners, pets, or kids. Shop the all-new Temper Adapt Collection at Ashley in-store or online at ashley.com. Ashley, for the love of home.